I gotta say, man, it's not every day I'm this excited. Will has been promoting this package around the studio. I got something coming in. I got the best thing coming in. Will do unbox therapy, hand delivered, hand delivered. And of course it's the plain envelope with the tape on it. And Kirk just brought some fresh hot coffee. So of course, oh, delicious. This is the greatest moment in YouTube history. Is that how you said it? That's uh, paraphrasing, but. More or less? Sure, I'll take or, it. Or no, was it internet history? The greatest day in internet history. Will doesn't normally go to this extent. If you're not amped up now, I don't know if you ever will be. Why am I cutting it there? Wow, we got Kirk's attention. You also, you also don't know what it is. No. Only Will. But he said we're all gonna really enjoy it. Honestly, that's what he said. I'm not, Lou's making stuff up. Oh, in studio. It's the Mate XS in studio. Foldable, I could never get my hands on the original Mate X. It was the foldable that for whatever reason, it was the unattainable foldable here in the studio. And would you look at that? It's here thanks to Willie Do. So shout out. There's some kind of a bumper case frame that's on the very top right here. Foldable form factor that I have not experimented with. It's not the clamshell folding in, it fold, it's the outfold. Color interstellar blue. 512 gigs of storage, eight gigs of RAM. Ooh, all right. Greeted by the device currently unfolded. Ooh, this is, that is so different. So it folds, is there a button? Do I just begin to fold straight away? I just fold like this. Whoa. The Galaxy Fold never, never felt like a normal smartphone in its folded position. Oh, Will's getting up. The fold felt like a thing that needed to be unfolded. You're gonna have some concerns. You're gonna wonder about durability because all your display is on the outside. So this is a lot more day to day. You're living your life. You're answering the calls. You're tapping the messages. And then you've got an extra moment of relaxation. You're about to enjoy your content, your unbox therapy, your Lou later. You hit the button and then you go into the small tablet mode at that moment. The Galaxy Fold is over here. So over here, it really felt like the tablet portion was the important one. That was the one that Samsung cared about first. And then the phone element, the screen on the outside, the earpiece and whatnot was an extra bonus. It can do that in a pinch. You look at this particular implementation and you realize that in this folded form factor, that's a lot more like a typical smartphone. It's actually very similar in stance to, well, this is the S20 Ultra. It's barely fatter. And it's a whole tablet in there. We have a camera array on the back. There's one, two, three, looks like four cameras. This little switch controls the unlock. So you hit this button and it sort of flings up to start the process for you into the unlock position and then back down into the closed position there. Oh, we need power. All right, so that thing is charging up right now. Let's check out the other items inside the package. SIM tool is in there, some paperwork. There's also gonna be your Type-C cable, I presume. A fairly long USB Type-C cable. There's a headset in the package. Type-C as well, earbuds. A power brick, supercharged power brick, max 40 watts, okay. There it is. And once again, this is in phone mode. And for, me, and for me, this is the most impressive part. When you pull your phone out of your pocket, you wanna be able to use it immediately as a smartphone. You wanna dive in there, you wanna open it up, you wanna have the full smartphone experience straight out of the pocket. Now, a couple of observations. It's a bit heavier than a typical smartphone and because the screen wraps around the edge, it's got a little slip, a little extra slip to it. On the back, when you're using the front, you have nothing. It's just blacked out. It looks kind of like the back of a phone. And then when you open it up, 
there's an animation and it just swings over to the entire thing. Let's do that one more time. We close it and the opposite takes place. Regular smartphone, open, big time. It does feel like an easier transition for me because there was something odd with the fold, as cool as the fold was, there was something odd about needing to flip it open or feeling the need to flip it open for almost everything. That they want you to be able to reach the far edge of the screen, considering how big it is and so on. But it did feel like a compromise. In the folded format, it's hard to say that this isn't superior to this. I mean, it should be pretty obvious. Wow, typing is so easy on here, it's crazy. I should show you guys, unboxtherapy.com, you can actually browse all the videos in a new format now. It's kind of cool. I never talked about this, but as you can see. Will, you gotta fill me in here. This doesn't currently have the Google Play services, so I can't just install the YouTube app on here. I could get in a side load business. Okay, let's turn it up. You can now run Android. Oh, wow. Yeah. To something called Project Sandcastle. And it's not gonna be a supported thing to do. You got your video, your scrolling comments, you've got great audio. Specifically an iPhone 7, and there's a, some video footage, in fact, of this guy from Forbes. It really does feel like a substitute for a tablet when you have it unfolded in this form factor right here. Now, speaking of that, Will, this thing is not going, this thing's not going to be cheap, right? You tell them, Will, what's the price of this? Uh, $2,700. $2,700. That makes this one of the most expensive production smartphones we've had on a set. It's incredible. I should also mention the fingerprint scanner is over here on the side. Look at that. Locked. If I try on my index, nothing. Thumb, bang. Full spec list. It's a 300 gram device. It's eight inches in size when it's unfolded, diagonally measured. The beauty when you're folded up is now you are a 6.6 .6 inch smartphone, which in 2020 is fully acceptable. OLED display, unfolded it's 2480 by 2200, folded it's 2480 by 1148. Camera layout, 40 megapixel wide, F1.8, 16 megapixel ultra wide, F2.2, 8 megapixel telephoto f24 the battery in here is 4500 milliamp hour which is again fairly large how does that compare will to the galaxy fold uh 4380 oh okay so they're in the same territory all right now let's give these cameras a quick look why don't we by default we're at 1x straight out the box and you can touch these dots to slide all the way in all the way up to 30X, which, wow. <laughs> which I probably wouldn't use. 3X looks pretty usable. Hey, Will, can we get a thumbs up, sir? Bam! 1X, bam, and wide. A nice variety there of focal ranges, which is a must on a flagship in this day and age. It used to only be a dream, but now it's an absolute must. I like the ultra wide myself. Now, what if we flip around to the selfie? We got to do this. You see how that works? Look at that. You see that magic? Oh, that's a selfie, Jack. I'm detailed and I'm detail oriented. You're using the high caliber camera even for your selfie. So this is a selfie sleeper. You don't have to have that mini little camera and a hole punch on the front that they just kind of put in there as an afterthought, wouldn't you still have access to your other lenses there? We flip it around. Yeah, we have, we have access to the full suite. Oh my beard hair, oh my word. Wow, tremendous detail. Oh, 5X on that detail. What are you talking about? That's beard for beard. Zoom in on your own grill, as they say, as the kids say, they don't say that. Kirk does, but he's not a kid. He's 47 years old. Oh, this is really interesting. If you just back out of the app, you got a mini version of your single display and then you sw flip the phone. Interesting. Lots of different uses, different thought processes here. What about a video? Why don't we? 60 FPS, 4K, why don't we? And we can compare this actually to our previous video in which 
Did you? I looked at the edit after you uploaded, and he was orange or red or pink or something. Hopefully that doesn't happen here. We're we're of course gonna find out. So by default, one X beauty mode is at zero. Very well. This is 1080p, 60 FPS. We have Will. We have the dogs. Uh, of course, Otis still wearing his fancy outfit. Who knows? He might keep picking it in uh, from the closet each morning. You never know. Doing it to this day. There's Will. Hopefully he's the complexion. To me, it looks good. Right now, it looks good. It's got to wait for the video. Update. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh... Right now, it looks good. Very detailed. Many Ks. Many of the Ks we are shooting in. There's Jack. He's moving and grooving. He's back in business. He's back on a job. And of course, we can do a, a Kirk test in order to, I don't know, just, we did, we did everything else. So it's a Kirk test and he's enjoying the weather. Springtime. And he's normally standing against this pole most of the day. So if you need to find him, that's where he normally is. And we're gonna zoom out. Let's see, let's get out wide. Okay, the wide lens definitely gets a bit softer, but usable. And then maybe we go back. We go back. We go back. Hmm. I kind of like this thing. Is that all right? And so you take a screen and you're, and you're folding and you're moving and you're grooving. Why you gotta reach for your laptop? Why you gotta reach for your iPad? It's no Google Play services. You gotta, you're, you're living in Tweak Town. You gotta sideload your stuff. You gotta be a bit of a nerd. I wish that wasn't the case, but that's just the state. That's the state of the union in 2020. For now, who knows, it may change. In the folded mode, straight out the pocket, this is a more familiar place for me to be. It's much less of a sandwich. It does not feel like a sandwich. Now I have nothing against sandwiches. Kirk does, he can't eat the bread. Lou, I'm gonna break that thing. I'm gonna place it down. It, I'm gonna scratch it, I'm gonna shatter it. You know what, you might. You might very well. I feel like this phone, this phone, both of these phones, all these phones, they're almost three grand. This thing's almost three grand at this point. You gotta treat it like it's three grand. If you're actually gonna splurge on it, you baby the thing. Like I said, you put it to bed on the pillow. It gets the nicer pillow than you. It gets the memory foam pillow. It's not a form factor that's tried and true. It's absolutely fringe and it should be approached in that way. It's the cutting edge for a reason. It's not for everyone. Not everybody should be on that edge, but if you can be, you end up having these science fiction experiences, which there that's one of the big reasons I signed up for this gig in the first place and got into it in the first place was to have these types of experiences. So from that standpoint, it's exciting to have stuff like this show up that isn't like everything else. Um, can we put this in the video on Kirk's phone? Do it. That's sure. intense. All right, quick, uh, little quick extra here. I didn't install the case. It kind of looked flimsy, but I actually think it offers a tiny bit of protection here for the one thing that might make people nervous, which is when you place it down on the table, this tiny little frame-like case gives you a bit of a ridge. So it sits on that instead of the screen. So that was included in the package. I think it, it might be a good move. You can't put a huge bulky case on here, but this bumper at least gives you something.